Hey guys, it's Ambrose from Action Esports. In Artifact, many of the cards you will use will have special traits and abilities that make your cards powerful. In today's video, we will go over the ability types and a few unique keywords that you will find as you play Artifact. Ability types can be innate or they can be granted by spells and items. They fall into one of five main categories depending on their behavior. Let's start with the first category, Play Effect, which can only be found in Heroes and Creeps. The ability triggers when a card is initially deployed in the lane, and your opponents have no control over what you play from your hand, so they can do little to nothing to counter it. Take a Glody Vandal for instance, which deals 4 damage to the enemy tower upon being played. Your opponents may not be ready for this attack, and their towers will suffer as a result. Next up, we have Death Effect, that activates when a card is defeated. This can be a result of either the unit taking too much damage, debuffed to a point of no health, or being condemned by cards such as Slay. Condemning a unit destroys it instantly and cannot be negated by effects like damage immunity. The basic death rules still apply in all these cases, with heroes returning to the fountain while spells and creeps being destroyed for good. Vol Martyr is an example of a creep with a death effect that may at first glance look weak, but it makes your allies stronger by giving them plus one attack and plus one health. If you have lots of allies along with Vol Martyr on the board, sacrificing your Vol might be the best option. In addition to cards that have abilities that activate when played in a lane or removed from it, there are those with persistent effects that last as long as they are alive, known as continuous effects. An example of this continuous effect is Lycan's Hero Ability, which grants 2 bonus damage to allied neighbors. While Lycan lacks in damage compared to other heroes, it makes up by empowering allied creeps. With 10 hit points, Lycan won't fall easily in battle, which will allow you to make the most out of its supportive card effect. Next, we have reactive abilities, which are effects that trigger when a certain condition is met. Each card's trigger requirement is different, and will be stated on the card. For example, the hero Zeus's reactive ability, Static Field, deals 1 piercing damage to the card's neighboring Zeus's enemy, giving you satisfy the trigger, which is to play a blue spell. It's important to note that the reactive ability will activate every time the trigger is satisfied, not just the first time. While it may appear to be minor, the damage can build up and can have devastating results if enough blue spells are played. Last, we have active abilities, which unlike reactive abilities, trigger when the player chooses to. These abilities don't have an inherent activation cost associated with them, and once used, they will go on cooldown for a specified amount of time before they can be used again. Seder Magician is a good example of a card with a strong active ability, which allows you to fully restore your tower's mana. Playing this card when your mana pool is larger will make the ability more effective and allow you to make even more plays. Now, let's move on to keywords. In Artifact, Keywords appear frequently on different cards, so it will be important to know each keyword and what it does. We will look at a few that are unique to Artifact, and may be a bit complicated to initially understand. Let's start with Rapid Deployment. Heroes with Rapid Deployment can return into play at the start of the next round when they die, instead of having to wait out a round. Vesture of the Tyrant is an item that gives a hero Rapid Deployment in addition to giving it and your tower plus 3 armor. Something to keep in mind is that when a hero dies, cards of the same color cannot be played in the lane until the hero is back. Rapid deployment helps speed up this process so you can get back to playing cards in that lane. Next up we have Swap. Swap allows you to swap the position of two units as long as they're in the same lane. Let's say your hero would be defeated by an opposing unit in the next combat phase, while your rebel decoy has no unit opposing it. In this case, you could swap Rebel Decoy with your hero so your hero can dodge lethal damage. Here, swap is used defensively, however it can also be used on offense to redirect your allies damage in order to take down vulnerable enemies or deal damage to the enemy tower. The last keyword we will talk about is Purge. Purge removes all negative modifications and temporary effects from your cards but does not alter any positive buffs the card might carry. Purging, however, does not affect base abilities or external effects such as those from equipped items and continuous effects from neighbors or improvements. Purging can be strong when an ally unit has a lot of improvements, but a debuff from the enemy is stopping it from accessing its full potential. 
Before we wrap things up, let's go over improvement cards. Not to be confused with keywords, these are a special category of spells that modify any lane of your choice with their effect, and will remain in that lane indefinitely unless they are condemned. You can find any improvements in a lane by hovering over the icon to the left of your tower. If improvements start stacking, they become quite difficult to deal with. For example, Altar of the Mad Moon gives your allied melee creeps plus two regeneration in a single lane which would make it difficult for your opponent to get past your creeps on that particular lane, since any weak incoming damage is likely to be healed. There are a lot more mechanics and keywords in Artifact than we touched upon in this video. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out our last video where we talked about damage and combat mechanics. Now we want to hear from you. Which ability types are you guys most looking forward to? What do you think of the new keywords? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.